Hey there, Sagittarius, and welcome back for a general love reading. This general love reading is going to be for the energy in your next serious relationship. So we're going to see what type of serious relationship is coming your way. Now, it is a general Sagittarius, so it's not going to apply for every single person out here. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. OK, these are general readings collectively for a, a Sagittarius. So listen, your first card here is passion here. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Is that what it say? Passion here is almost like somebody may not, somebody may be suppressing something. So for some of you guys here, you may be stopping something because a past life relationship here, seeing deception here. So for some of you guys, you were in a serious relationship with somebody. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So somebody's heart ain't singing with joy. So you'll need to allow it to. It says this involves a marriage. Could have been somebody you were married to or about to get married to. But something may have been imbalanced within yourself or them. Somebody needed to love themselves first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It could also represent that somebody here may have been. So I feel like this must be some reconciliation energy because th this is for your, your next serious relationship. But it could also represent you need to love yourself first, Sagittarius, and open up your heart here so, because something serious is coming your way. OK, so that's what we're going to say. You could be you, you, you could be all about the passion, but not emotionally invested in it. And so spirit is telling you the only reason why you're doing this is because there's a need to introspect and to love yourself and uh, work on that because you got a marriage that I feel like is about to take place or the possibility because after all, this is your next serious relationship reading. OK, so it's all about the commitment, something that's serious because, you know, in relationships, you take a chance. And, and nowadays, you know, you don't have to stick around long to find out if it works for you or not. So I'm saying if, if you passion driven, then that means that you may stay consistent in meeting new people, but they may not have been the right one. Or maybe you're closed off emotionally because you're, you're not wanting a commitment. But maybe it's time for a change, Sagittarius. Now, I'm just telling you, you got marriage and this involved marriage. Now, for some of y'all, it could be somebody you were married to or dealing with somebody here who was married to somebody else. All right, so only take the part that fits you no more than I do. But... If it does resonate, Sagittarius, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. All right, see, confusion. Whew. All right, five of wands in the reverse. I feel like I said, I feel like this is old energy. Five of pentacles in the reverse. Four cups, see, I knew it. I felt like the passion is wearing off. Cause you, but you got new opportunities coming your way. You're trying to move on or you are moving on. Now you could be dealing with somebody and they wanted way much more. Maybe they were, maybe somebody needed to work on themselves. See, page of Pentacles, 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. Like I said, it could involve a marriage. So let's see your next serious relationship for Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius' next serious relationship? You got the Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Somebody may feel like they've lost out. And somebody, it's almost like something didn't work out, but either it's because somebody here was in this Knight of Wands energy and all about the passion, but really was emotionally in invested. It's almost like you're moving on towards, you may be focusing more on your money here, but you got opportunities here. So you may be trying to travel. You may be traveling or it could be somebody traveling to you. It could be somebody traveling to you that's very, very attracted to you. And there may be a need for you to look at this from a different perspective instead of a physical thing. Look at it deeper than that in order for it to be something serious. So like I say, some of y'all want a serious relationship and some of y'all don't. But I told you what this reading is about. So let's see. Whew. Oh, see, it's a soulmate. That's why. 
to see. I feel like either you or your soulmate here wants you back because I feel like maybe you want, maybe it was just all about the fun. You got the Knight of Wands showing up. Somebody, somebody's in love with you. That's what I feel like. But maybe you didn't want it, but maybe something is about to turn around. Why is the Five of Wands in the reverse for Sagittarius' next serious relationship? Why is the Five of Wands? There's a competition. Um, it could be somebody here that's trying to let release toxic situations go. Somebody may be trying to take the high road out and not engage. Somebody, it could be all over money here with this uh, five of pentacles in the reverse. It's almost like somebody saying, you know, okay, it is what it is, so I'm going to move on. But then, you know, time, time moving on, somebody is re reconsidering. So what's up with uh, Sagittarius' serious relationship in this five of wands in the reverse? See, something ended. Whew. Something ended and some, I feel like something ended wrong because they're going to five of cups. So like, I feel like this is something either you're going through that's not really engaging or not trying to entertain this wedding or this relationship. It could just be that you don't want it or you're not focused on that right now and it's getting in your way. What's the next serious relationship? See, there go justice here. So it's, it's, I feel like somebody feel like they've been done wrong, so they're still holding on to it. So like, I feel like this is something from your past because there's clearly resentment or anger or something between you and the person, and there's a need to revisit it, I feel like, but I feel like somebody wants justice, but the other person moving on. And it could be that somebody's saying I'm moving on because I want justice, or somebody may be trying to come back, or they may hope that you do right. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse for Sagittarius' next serious relationship? It could be that you were financially taking care of somebody and you dropped it and now you want to go start totally new with this Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles here. So somebody may have not been holding up their part of the bargain here. Somebody didn't get the results out of a commitment. See, somebody may have joined up with a toxic situation and didn't nobody win. And now it's still a lot of resentment. It's still a lot of heartache and pain. Could be about a third party. It could be somebody, you know, was out here, you know, or somebody could have assumed that it was an outside influence because one person wanted something and the other person didn't. Why is the four of pentacles here now? This is, look. <laughs> Let's see this four of cups here. Missing out on the opportunity, really feeling bored, maybe feeling lonely. Could be missing somebody here because I feel like other people see with these four cups it's other emotion some type of other outside influence that's coming around that's been coming in and I feel like it's about third party energy or other people and somebody may be realizing that somebody may have allowed their family and friends to get in y'all relationship and didn't nobody say nothing so somebody could have ran off somebody all right four cups seven of one see somebody is guarded Ooh. See, Ace of Wands in the reverse. And the Lover's card, Gemini energy. See, it's about a third party. Somebody wants to heal it, but somebody don't want to hear it. That's what I hear. But if y'all was to be able to work things out, y'all could have something serious. Ooh, now why is the Knight of Wands here for Sagittarius? Next serious relationship. Sagittarius next serious relationship in this Knight of Wands. Whew, Nine of Swords. You could be dealing with the air sign here. You could have air in your placements. You could be dealing with somebody. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Scorpio, <laughs> a Taurus, a Gemini, Cancer. So somebody here probably just only wanted certain things out of the relationship. Somebody may have caught feelings. What's up with this Knight of Wands? Oof, and there go the freaking tower. I feel like somebody's realizing that 
they may have caught feelings for a player. Could be a Scorpio. You know they intense. Somebody could have always been thinking about you, staying up at night all, all, all the time, wanting to be with you, wondering where you at, and it could have been other people around. So it's, in a sense, it's like you're not accepting nobody, Cup. You, it's almost like you don't want this. See, because they go to five or one. Because somebody may be feeling pulled. And you, somebody may have so much external distractions that they can't focus on just one person. See, they go to seven of cups in the reverse. It's like too many people. Whatever you got going on, I can tell that this is something that needs to be revisited because it's got a lot of toxic energy attached to it. Let's see, why the Page of Pentacles here for Sagittarius' next serious relationship? What's up with this Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy? Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius' next serious relationship. They go to Star card, Aquarius. Like I say, you got a lot of uh, air energy here. So there's a lot of mental, a lot of talk being done. Everybody's business is out. It just seems like it's everybody in everybody's business here. They go to Sun card. So like I say, it could also represent somebody wanting to heal things and hoping, hoping that uh, you come back in and give them some offer or they're coming in to you to offer you something. And this could be somebody totally new. Because clearly there's some type of ending. Could be dealing with a Leo, or Aquarius. What's going on with this page of Pentacles for Sagittarius' next serious relationship? And they go to King of Pentacles. See, I told you, you must have been just focusing on your money. So it could be Sagittarius that you a boss, you know, you're getting paid and all these things like that. And you got anybody that you could, that you could want. And it's you. <laughs> you could be running around here breaking hearts because everybody want to be your chick or your dude or want to be in your life because you may have it going on. But it's almost like you kind of rough out here. You got you got somebody here that want to be back with you, but I feel like you may be unfazed because I feel like you are emotionally unavailable. See, that's why I said that you may be governed by the physical attractions to people. That's why Spirit is saying here, um, allow your heart and soul to sing um, with, with joy. So it's almost like you're not putting your heart into situations here. And like I say, that's probably why that star card is here. Spirit could be telling you that you need to heal because you may have something beautiful coming your way and you may not look at it as being something good because your perception may be off. The only thing Spirit is saying is if you live in this type of lifestyle, there's a reason for it that maybe you don't want to deal with. And Spirit is saying maybe it's time by loving yourself first. I'm just saying, all right, you got the chariot. What's Sagittarius' next serious relationship with this chariot cancer energy? The magician could be dealing with a Pisces. Mm. Somebody chasing money. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's chasing money. So don't know. Ain't nobody gonna let no no love get in the way right now. This is what I see. I feel like you got the opportunity to, or maybe you already have somebody, but you got other people chasing after you. But if, if it is, it's toxic. It just seems like a lot of too many people because it seems like you chasing money and while you chasing money, you getting that bag and it's going to attract a whole bunch of other people, a lot of people that want to be with you. But are they really being with you for you or are they be, being with you for what you can offer them? Because I don't see you settling down even with the opportunities. All right, one more card for the chariots. You got Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. See, page of cups, you ain't trying to offer nothing emotional. Wow. All right, see? Some of y'all say y'all ain't got time to settle down now. If you want to kick it, you know, we can kick it. But, you know, look, I ain't got time for that. That's what I see, even when it's pre presented to you. It's still, it's, it's like you're going you're gonna to fight it. All right, what's up with this Ace of Pentacles? It's a new opportunity, though. Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius' next serious relationship. Ace of Swords, I feel like, first of all, somebody's going to have to have a mental breakthrough or stand in their truth. See, I told you, they're soulmate. So you got a real soulmate. 
And this could be somebody totally new, but like I say, it's time for you to make that call. It's time for you to make a change so that you can experience something different. Spirit is saying, based on your cause, it's time to let go of those third parties. You know, friends with benefits type of energy and prepare yourself. Because I feel like this time you may even marry this person. But there's a need to tap in emotionally so that you can correct some, some maybe some uh, toxic energy within your life patterns or something. Some, some gonna change. See, cause see, spirit say you ain't gotta worry about them third party energies. You got a new opportunity. This is gonna change your life. See, cause you got it. See, see that is what spirit telling you. Says so you ain't gonna have to worry about needing all these people in your life because you got something that's gonna change. But you gonna have to cut the cord, okay? to that, or it's gonna be cut, see, because it's calling for change, it's something that's gonna change, so with that tower card, you, it may happen overnight, so you may wake up and say, you know what, why am I talking, why is I, you know what I'm saying, you, you never know. You're gonna get this though, but I feel like you're gonna end up in some very serious, if not married, to this soulmate that's coming to your life, but it's time for you, Sash, to make the change, all right? Please like, share, and subscribe.